Ait's goitjol sair jim fanasnet, chasalas anech husainich, chasalas anech husaikum elalangs. So I said, hello, my name is Sarah Jim. I'm from Husanich, from the Saikum village. Uh, my father, his name is David Jim. His traditional name is Sequimpton. He's Mexican and Coast Salish from Saikum. And my mother's name is Wendy Jim. She's Russian and English. And I'm an emerging artist. I have my BFA, Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree at the U University of Victoria. And I also do environmental restoration in Sneedcliff, which is the first Saanich village site. The title of my piece is Llekeilch Stechung, and that's in Chothan for Moon Tide. And I named it this because Sanich have such a rich knowledge of the tides. And we also live our years in a 13 moon calendar, 13 moon cycle instead of a 12 month year. So each moon represents different activities throughout the year. These four salmon represent the four salmon in the 13 moon cycle. And that's why there's four of them kind of going into the net. And four is also a significant number in Saanich culture. You can see a lot of crescents throughout my piece, like in the eyes of the salmon and just um, like the mouth and the gills. And whenever I put a moon in my artwork, it's kind of giving a, it's kind of honoring the 13 moon calendar. And also crescents are just repeating patterns in Salish art. I wanted to mention also that it's going in a counterclockwise direction. And that is a significant direction for the sandwich. Like every time we're in a circle, we always go counterclockwise. And I've been told that from my cousin that we do this because that's the way the moon travels around the earth. So in the middle of my piece is the escapement hole. And that is the most significant part of the reef net because it's a conservation method. We don't take all the fish, we only take what we need. So I wanted to make that the center of the piece. And you can see the salmon going towards the hole because this design is supposed to be, be viewed as the salmon, the salmon's perspective, instead of um, an anthropocentric or human view. So when you move out of the center of this piece, you can see the dune grass flowing in the water. And the dune grass, when you put the reef net out, is supposed to calm the salmon. It's supposed to give the salmon the sense of a false bottom. So they're drawn towards the center of the net. And beside the dune grass is the net weights. So these rocks have, are passed down from generation to generation because they're, they're very special. So they have holes in the center of them and these holes are super time consuming to create because uh, there was no power drills back then. I stained the wood with this blue wood stain and I wanted to emulate the Salish blue color. I've heard Charles Elliott talk about that we had our own blue and this was made from copper oxide. So I wanted to emulate that, but also make it look as if it was water. The grain in the wood really emulates that if you look closely. So it kind of ties together the idea that Kwasanich were just as much tied to the water as they were to the land. I would say it's a more traditional piece than I'm used to, but I, I, I like it because of that. So you can see that there are crescents and trigons, and those are reoccurring shapes in Salish art, Coast Salish art. And there's also S-curves within the dune grass. Doug LaFortune, one of my relatives, told me that, Simon Charlie told him, that every single Coast Salish element that you see in the art you can see in the bones of a fish, a salmon. It just shows you how close that Saanich have co-evolved with this place, the ancestral homelands. The reef net brings people together personally because when I was researching for this piece, because I, I had to do a lot of reading, I didn't grow up knowing this knowledge, and it was really eye-opening, you know, just just reading the ancient technology that was just so advanced. And so I was curious because every family has their own reef net site. So I, my dad was saying that my uncle knew. So I called my uncle up and I was asking him about our reef net site, which is by Blaine, Washington, on the United States side. And we ended up talking for like half an hour, 45 minutes, just about family lineage and just, you know, just being together and talking. So 
just passing on knowledge is a great way to connect with people. I'm just glad this exhibition is happening because the, the reef net was, I guess, frowned upon and it became illegal for a while and it was just an unfair um, event that happened in the past. So I'm glad that it's bringing, it's getting attention and becoming known that this was our way of fishing and it, it wasn't, it, it was sustainable, right? So I think that aspect of the reef that makes me proud to be Hussainich. You know, I've mentioned earlier, we don't take anything we don't need. We save some for the rest of the ecosystem. You know, whales need to eat too. So thank you for facilitating this and curating it and inviting all these amazing artists to be a part of it. I'm so honored to just be next to all of these artists. They're amazing. Bye, Chika. <laughs>